are three Golden Globe and two American Comedy Award nominations. She currently stars on the FX drama Sons of Our Anarchy, Gemma. which will begin its fourth Sam season Crow. next Tuesday. Say hello to Katie Seagal. Wife number two is the only Hispanic actress who started her career on a U.S. Hispanic network and successfully crossed over to the general market. The Emmy, Golden Globe, and SAG-nominated actress can currently be seen as Gloria Delgado Pritchett in the number one comedy in America, Modern Family. Welcome, Sophia Delgado. And ladies, I have been asked, I haven't been asked to ask you to be gentle with that. Gentle. All right, you're on. Hi, everybody. I want to tell Eddie he's one lucky mofo. <laughs> Here he's got these two beautiful women that he's had in his life. Hopefully he will have this one as long as he had me. I'm sure he will. Um, they asked me to say a few words about Ed personally, and I was trying to think of things that, um, you know, I love so many things about Ed, and, uh, you know, it's rare that you get to spend 11 years with someone, you know, longer than, than you go to school, really, and, uh, and Ed and I have remained friends over the years. Um, I just wanted to share, I was just talking to Sophia, I asked her this question, I said, does he tell you what he eats for lunch? <laughs> Ed loves to talk about food, right? He likes to ask you what you ate for lunch. And he wants to tell you what he had for lunch. And he wants to tell you what's gonna happen for dinner. And he loves to, he really, really, see look, they're rolling in the aisles. He loves to talk about food. Which, you know, I, I don't know, I think food is one of those, you know, wonderfully warm things. And uh, Ed, you know, as private as a person he, as he is, which he really, really is, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked that he's standing here in front of all of you. And, um, and I see that he dressed for the occasion. <laughs> I said to Steve, what, did he just roll out of bed? What, did he show? It's a nice shirt, it's clean. <laughs> anyway, I'm so thrilled and honored that you all would honor my friend, and who, to me, I spent 11 years laughing hysterically every day. We laughed. And, we, and uh, you know, I, I just always thought he was the funniest guy on television. And there we were over on that Fox network, which you, at the time you had to have rabbit ears on your television to get reception. And they would stick us in bowling alleys and at carnivals to try to bring, to try to bring viewership. And I just would think, man, this is the funniest dude on TV. And he, um, you know, with, without a lot of airs, you know, he made me, he gave me faith in, um, in the working man's actor, that's what I would call Ed, you know, because he's a down-to-earth guy. He's a for real, from the heart guy. So um, I'm just so honored to be here. I cannot wait to walk on him. I love you, Ed. I love you. I'm very happy to be here. Sophia! <laughs> when, thank you. Um, when, I, when Ed asked me to talk at this ceremony, I was very moved. He's worked with so many special people and works with so many special people, but yet he picked me. So I felt very, very special. But then after a little while, I felt very, very suspicious. <laughs> because he knows I don't like this sort of thing because I get confused and, and I mess the language. And when that happens, he laughs like crazy. He laughs like an animal. And then, so I said, today, I don't want to give him that satisfaction. He's getting already a star, so he doesn't need any more gifts today. So I said, okay, so I'm gonna say what I have to say better in Spanish so that he doesn't understand me. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ed, you know, when I was in Colombia and I was a young, very beautiful girl, <laughs> I, would watch, I would watch Mary with children and I would see Ed sitting with his hand in the pan, <laughs> and talking with this, like, 
like talking with this very sexy uh, Antonio Banderas accent because in Colombia it was dot into Spanish. <laughs> so he talked perfect Spanish at that time. And so I was there sitting in Barranquilla watching the show and I would never in a million years thought that I was going to grow up to marry Al Bondi. <laughs> had paid me to believe that, I wouldn't have believed that. But to marry Al Bundy has been one of the most joyful things in my whole life. Because Ed is a great actor, but he's so generous. He is there for us, to, for all the class, to help us shine. He's a teacher. He is a cheerleader. And he just, you know, when we're on the set, I like to look at him and to see him work. But sometimes I do wonder, I don't understand why he doesn't like fix that weird accent that he has. But, you know, nobody's perfect. <laughs> I, I think um, one of his greatest achievements, and he's been done so many things on TV, on movies, but one of the best things about Ed is that everybody likes him. Everyone, you don't hear anybody say anything bad about Ed. I have checked on that. <laughs> and, and I think that's what makes him a true star. I really, from the bottom of my heart, don't believe that no one deserves more than him. No one deserves to be in the sidewalk more than him. <laughs> we love you, Ed. Thank you for existing.